Welcome to a brand new Vampire the Masquerade game called Swan Song. We take control of three vampires in a very story-driven game, similar to, I guess, Quantic Dreams or Telltale. The, the story and the decisions you make have a real impact on what happens in the game. So uh, let's jump in. We're going to do a part one as a bit of a tester. If you guys want me to do a part two, leave your likes and comments below, support the video, subscribe for more as well. And let's see what happens. Uh, I'm playing on the review code. The game comes out the following day after this video, which is the 19th of May, 2022. On all sort of platforms you would expect, I believe. So uh, yeah, I'm playing on PS5, it's out on PC, Xbox, etc, etc. get this going there ready we're all set now to begin tell me what do you see uh, I don't know okay. try this focus on your vision Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. It's the Prince. We must go quickly.
Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has got to be bad, Amem. Ooh, okay. So we... This is the dialogue. In a dialogue, some answers require you to use your skills. Your skill level is compared to with that of your opposition or your opponent. The higher rating wins. You cannot use skill if its rating is zero. Okay. Using a skill consumes willpower. If your opponent wins, you gain a few willpower at the end of the dialogue. Okay. Uh, it's 100% success. She has nothing to hide. Psychology. All right. Success is 100%, so. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure. You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem. Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. What happened with the hair? <laughs> what? What's the code red? Did you say this is the first code red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation. That's all. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, "Watch out. We're all in danger." and everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. They could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. So we clean house. What do you what mean about by clean, house? clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. So we've got plus one willpower. Ah, my little dog. From that dialogue. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amen. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Disciplines. Vampires have supernatural abilities, usually inherited from their clans. Disciplines. Some disciplines can be used in dialogues. As with skills, the higher skill, the higher level wins. Not all disciplines are available to all vampires. Some mortals may possess certain powers, although most have no defense against disciplines. Using a discipline generates hunger. Okay, so hunger and willpower. Okay, top left hand corner. Hunger has a value that cannot be exceeded. This limits a vampire's use of their powers. A vampire at their hunger limit risks losing control, attacking and feeding on the closest mortal. Oh no. So always try and have one if possible. Um, all right, flatter April. Oh, I failed. No. You no, know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Mm. My dear Mm. I adore you, really, I do. 
But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The Prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The Prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. Well, that could have gone better. Well, we can walk around. Okay, there is there is some gameplay. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be. A, look at that marble floor. Miss Lewis, welcome. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, we talked to you, Miss Lewis. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. What do you want? I must admit, this outfit is incredible. <laughs> so good. She's the um the cover art, the cover character, I guess. What a cool looking character. So I guess we want to find out what happened. Why is it code red? And obviously try to keep this masquerade. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? So this was the guy a second ago having a, a snack on her arm. Is that right? <laughs> um, everyone should have been at the party. We should have all left by now. Are you worried about the Code Red? I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? Who's He's that? The second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. Embrace meaning getting married and or turning into a vampire? Is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. How old is he? He's a real shark. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's a real shark he or not. He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stake to his heart and cried, your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed, then, that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, 
please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Oh, is there another one? Focus. <clears throat> Focus allows you to temporarily increase a skill by one or two levels. Ah. The more you increase your focus, the more willpower costs increase. To be focused, the skill must have a minimum score point of one. Discipline or knowledge cannot be focused. Well, so, is that the right trick? Is that the right? Oh, there we go. Ah. I think I get it. If a skill or discipline levels are the same, the outcome of the conflict is uncertain. The chance of victory will be influenced by the number of bonuses or penalties, as well as spending experience points. Oh, 100% there. I'll just keep going up. That's a lot, though. That's a lot of willpower. That's a serious amount. All right, we'll give it a go. All their focus as well. <gasps> Success, 30%. It's a tie. Fail. Ah, oh, come on, man. Serious? Your opponents can also focus their own skills. Unlike you, focus can only allows them to increase their skill level by one. The risk of opponent focusing is represented by the percentage. To be more aggressive, um, what's that? The more aggressive you are, sorry, skill, focus, use discipline, the more risk the opponent fo focus increases. Okay. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the prime engine. We found that. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. She knows Apparently, more. it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. I do like how the the story seems to interconnect. So I thought maybe I, I controlled one character for the first part of the game, and then we switch. Um, one thing I want to say, I think the graphics, I think the dialogue, I think the story is what already pretty interesting. I haven't seen her. But Councilor Drury, the animation. Um, Mr. Lido's team oh, hello. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, the facial animations just look a bit off. No. Hope I'm not being too harsh there. Um, yeah, I don't know. As long as the other stuff keeps up, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Hazel must be pissed. Oh, the dialogue's actually really good. What the it's well delivered, but it's just the animation. Yeah, I hope I'm not being harsh there. Sorry. I, li I like to be honest. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I'm being a bit harsh. What's up in here? What is going on in this story? I guess we're about to find out. So I'm guessing if a human grabbed a picture of a vampire, for example, the whole masquerade is gone. Maybe that's why there's a code red. Maybe there's, there's a human that has evidence of vampires or something like that. I don't know. It's an interesting story for sure. Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? 
You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet, and I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. Why do I feel like that's an adult pretending to be a child? I might be wrong though. <laughs> um, we won't be separated again, I promise. But now we'll be together forever. We'll be inseparable. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Yeah. What? That was weird. Laisha. It's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. Um. Hmm. Doesn't realize how serious it is. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Okay, it's serious, I get it. It's code red. I understand. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with me. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't going to help us solve it. Hallucinations? Oh, that's what they are. Hmm. And yet, many of the things I saw ended up happening. Quentin King's disappearance. Hazel's rise to power. Your breakup with Hilda, too. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies. Sir, the prince shall see you now. Emmon is a rebellious star. The diva who lights up Boston, but brings light into a world of darkness can be perilous. Emmon knows this, but she doesn't care. Okay, so this is where we pick our profile for this particular vampire. Uh, profile that focuses on dialogue skills and the physical attribute. It allows you to use your character's aura in conversation. Jack of all trades. Profile that focuses on improving attributes and a larger selection of skills. It allows a maximum number of interactions, but less mastery. Uh, let's go, should we go for veteran? Oh, I like the sound of veteran. There we go. There's a lot going on here. At the start of a scene, previously earned experience points can be spent to improve the character's abilities. These abilities can be divided in two areas. The character sheet and the discipline sheet. Each attribute affects a specific list of skills and disciplines. 
Attributes increase the chance of victory in case of a tie. Improving them also decreases the willpower cost of focus. Hazel. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the Code Red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the Warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. I don't understand that. So what's happened? So at th this party, is, is everyone dead? What, what, what's happened at this party? Why? Why do you want Journey for? I have a few questions I need to ask her. Uh -oh. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. Do I, do I push this? She hasn't done anything. Hazel, mm. I'll be the judge of that. All right, all right, fine. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I oh. have something to offer you. I'm listening. Okay. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. What do we do? Business as usual. I don't have any chance of success here. It's not even possible. Just keep silent. <laughs> the Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... Uh... What? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? Um, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what is what is yeah? That's that's what's going on going on in my head as well. What what is what is going on here? What happened at this party? M M, I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Sil. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. 
Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. A vessel? A vessel of blood? Peter, apparently. <coughs> ah! Is this where we, um... Ooh, prey will naturally be revealed as you approach them. Ooh, choose your prey. What? Sorry, guys, it's got to be the female, surely. I need you. Come with me. There. Yes. What? This is a little bit weird. This just got very weird. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Jeez. Whew. The kiss. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's that's a kiss. Yeah. Vampires use their powers to charm or subdue their prey. To satisfy their hunger. When feeding on prey, you can control the amount of blood you take. Press and hold the button to increase the amount of hunger eliminated. If you do not press the button. Or you don't you don't release it before the bar is full, the prey will die. Oh wow, okay. So you just drain too much blood. Lovely. So Alright, so that's my hunger and that's the, the health of the the individual, the heart. Whoa. There we go. I don't want to take too much there. It went really quick, I wasn't expecting that. Gee, that was a bit weird. Resonance. Some prey, some prey, their blood is emotionally charged. Have resonance that your character will earn after feeding. At the end of the scene, a resonance provides an experience bonus. Ah, for the corresponding discipline. Um, or you can do a second bite and finish them off. But that will raise increased suspicion. So I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I could do with a bit more... Bit more blood honestly but okay my discipline isn't that great all right jay where are you hiding i wonder if we can feed more <laughs> i'm hungry thank you like can i go out now can i help you where is jay do, do we know where she is mm. what a shitty night do you think the code red will last much longer i hope not the faster I'd get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? Apparently so. God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Um, I'm looking for Journey. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Uh... There's a surveillance unit. What? I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. Well, thank you very much. I'm guessing I can't consume until maybe the next night. I don't know how that, how that works, actually. Oh. I know Is this that Jay? Perfume. Jay. That 
That's Jay's scarf. What's this? Heightened senses. Enhances your five senses. This condition reveals new interactions, detecting sense, listening to conversations from a distance, revealing the past of objects, or even experience premonitions. Oh. I can't. Oh, one sec. What's this? More freaking Ooh. out. Hello. Where did you what go? What I found. Jay? What does this go? Yep. That makes complete sense. Looks like somebody went into this alcove here. Definitely. The scent does go outside. Is there a conversation happening over there? I should be looking at or listening to? Underwood and Fang. Azor's ears must be burning. That's where the scent goes. Keltum and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. Should I have a look in here? It's definitely one of those games that doesn't hold your hand. Is it Kala saw? That's for yeah, sure. Always got along well with her sire. Lucky Ooh. bitch. What we got? Um, I'm still waiting for that paper. I asked for our retainer to arrive before sunset. For more discretion. Her last message to Abigail. I need to track down the file. On the 1998 Silesius party. Page 3 should be of interest to you. Alright. The file. I wonder where they put it. That could be of interest to me. So maybe find this file. Would it be here? Did I find it? No, that's a business card. <laughs> is that a full guest list? Where would the file be? It wouldn't be on the computer, would it? Her last message to Abigail. Hmm. Might be useful to try and find that. Can I try and listen? Oh. This can't have a listen. Be I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Nomi. And I left. What did she take? Her a page from a file about an old party that she tore out. We just heard about that. But why would she need that? Why now? I wonder. Hmm. Suspicious. Where's this file? Where is this file? Oh, Ooh. you again. Yeah. What do you want? A file. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. What? Yeah, there's no way I can win that conversation. They're close. They are close. So I can't. No, there's nothing I can do that. It's just not, I'm just not good enough. I won't tell anyone. You can tell me. My lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fair play, yep. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah. There's ah. a good chance of that. Oh, great. All right. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. What? She obviously, she's obviously been here. It's a good thing I was careful earlier. 
Where does she go? Can I run, by the way? This is as fast as I can walk. Took the elevator to get here. Ah. I'm gonna find her. It's the last thing I do. It surely has to work, right? No? It doesn't work? I can't just press the button? Ah. Serious? I really want to find a... Oh, that's locked as well. I don't know where I go right now. Don't worry. You're safe here. I'm not sure I believe you. Hmm. I don't know how I'll get into this elevator. I thought I'd just press the button and then we're good, but apparently not. Oh, there's some stairs here. Maybe we could go the long way. <laughs> Is that her? No, it can't be her, surely. Oh, great. My shadow. Oh, this is Abigail. We can ask her a few questions. Mm. Boston. So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? Uh, nothing but smork. Oh, should we give it a go? 91% chance. Oh no, she matched me. Ah! Tire. Come on. No. I just lost so much willpower Nothing there. Specific, really. I think she's totally overwhelmed. Hazel, overwhelmed? You're hiding something from me. M.M., now is Hilda, not the time sorry, for yeah. games. This is serious. Fine. All right. She asked me to go and fetch Journey. Ah. And do you happen to know where she is? So, you think this is going to get ugly too? How is Hazel? She asked a lot of questions. She was a little paranoid. She's losing her grip. Be careful. Why are you telling me this? This is the first time you've ever been involved in a court intrigue. Up until this instant, I've handled things for you. And that was fine by me. If the prince is under pressure, choose your words carefully. I hate the court. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful. All right. Well, that fails. Doesn't really lead anywhere. How do I find Jay? I'm tired of waiting. Oh, one sec. Got a scent here. Going through these doors. Oh. One second. Maybe this is progress. Or maybe I've been sent on like a wild goose chase. Oh. like a one way so I can get in but that's it so I don't find the journal damn no fucking way shit Oh, this what? is where you've been. Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, Mum, it's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. 
April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So, you're hiding in Drory's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against uh, her. So we should have found it. I don't know where it was. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't Is have it? anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right. Now. I got bad feeling about this. I was this. the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? Oh, okay. I've only got two options here. Take her to the prince. She should run. I think we should take her. I don't think we have anything to hide. But it could go very, very wrong. It's gonna be fine. Very Jeff. wrong. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you. This could go so wrong. If I just found the evidence. I was trying to look for it. I don't know where I was supposed to go, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> right, we are going to pause it there. Let me know if you guys would like to see a, a second episode. Um, I, I'm quite intrigued by it. I'm quite intrigued indeed. Like I said, the only, thing, the, the only issue I have is that the facial animations during dialogue and stuff like that. I think the game looks great. I think the story is interesting. The characters are cool. The actual dialogue, for the most part, is pretty good. It's just the animations sort of put me off a little bit. But I can sort of, I can ignore that if the rest of it keeps up with that, if that makes sense. But if it keeps being good. Um, thank you guys for watching, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon. So I guess we haven't done scene one yet. I wonder how many scenes there are. Anyway, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.